open the door. Do it now. Hopefully it's raining like this out at the property on the food plots. Yeah. Heck yeah. We have had no appreciable rain in months, y'all. If it was raining like this on the property, that winter ride would take off like crazy. What are you eating? Yeah, boy. It's the first day. It feels nice, man. It's cool out here. A little overcast. Saturday's coming, Mr. Krabs. I'm coming for you. Be raining, y'all. Oh yeah, it's cheering. There's the spider man that's been there for a while on the front porch. Yeah. We definitely need the rain, y'all. That's for sure. For sure. Yeah, y'all. Definitely need rain. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for rain. <laughs> Look at that. Pitiful. There she is. The killer in her natural habitat. Eating pickles, man, man. Oh, yuck! Look at that. It looks like pickle spaghetti. Bifurcated tongue. <clears throat> well, folks, we made it to the cabin, the abode of awesomeness. And uh, tomorrow, we're we're hoping to put a hurting down. Lord, please, one way or the other, help us put a hurting down on some beer. which would be awesome. Uh, anywho, we finally got some rain, y'all. So I'm hoping that the food plot starts taking off from here on out and that uh, everything kind of greens up. There's even some, some uh, water in some of the holes in the creek, so that's awesome. We saw at least seven or eight deer on the way down here and one wild hog out in the field. Uh, 
in broad daylight. So they're moving a little bit today. Hopefully, as that front pushes through this weekend, starting tomorrow, it'll they'll be moving even a little bit more. It's still warm in the daytime, you know, 80-ish, uh, but it's cool again in the mornings, you know, mid-60s. Uh, so that's not bad. It's still not the best hunting weather, but... Sometimes you just take what you can get and don't throw a fit. So anyway, stay tuned. Me and the bean are going to try to put the wallop on something. <laughs> Might just go hog hunting. Huh? See, if a hog walks out, just zap him. <laughs> yeah, cheer in. Look at that. It's a pickle smile. Oh, are you smelling your pickle, man? <laughs> oh. Well, we overslept, so I think it was okay. It was raining a little bit this morning, I think, so, but it looks pretty good now. It's not too hot, a little bit overcast, so kind of wet out there. <clears throat> so I think we're going to have breakfast and then get on down do some hunting. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> Morning. It lives. Look at them legs. Ooh, ah, ooh. They're amazing. Ooh. <laughs> Get up, man. What just happened, man? I don't know. Why are you telling I just had a gargantuan spider on my person. And this one, instead of being helpful and just killing it or swatting it, starts. Loki, what have you got on me? Started flailing her arms and going, There's a big spider! There's a big spider! I didn't say big spider, I said spider, 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 spider. What a buddy. So anyway, we're out here hog hunting and squirrel hunting today. And uh, we're going to see what happens. I know we got plenty of squirrels, but we also got a hog that's been coming through here. Kind of semi-regular. So yeah, I guess we'll see. It's muggy out here. kind of sucks but that's okay we're hunting and that's good the deer aren't moving much today so we thought we'd try our hand at hogs or squirrels here we go no <laughs> now what? <laughs> Go ahead. 
Have you even wiped off your face? No. Nope. Oh my god. She's got a snot rocket crusty thing hanging from her face right now. Oh my god. Remy, if you could see this. Stop! <laughs> Alright. I stopped. I don't believe you. Why would you not believe me? Because the camera's right at my face. Oh, okay. She's over here sniffing, sniffing. I said, would you like to blow your nose? And she said, no. You think that's a crow? She has ruined my hanky. <laughs> ruined my hanky. You look damaged. <laughs> Over there, and Well, we didn't get any pigs or squirrels this morning, but we did see a deer. We saw one squirrel, and uh, so I guess in a way we didn't get skunked. But anyway, uh, we also went out to the food plot to kind of look how the rain had affected it, and it's starting to like sprout up. But better than that, there are hog prints tracks all over that food plot. So. I think we're gonna try to hit that real heavy tonight. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she said. Yep. What? Yep. Yep. So we're gonna try to hit that heavy tonight, this evening, and see what happens. Because that'd be cool. Yes. I have. Well, folks, we are back at the cabin, as you can see. The Todd is over there in my chair, so it's a little bit after one in the afternoon. We have regrouped. We went and got a hog hunting light, so that's good. And uh, we went down there to put the bait out for the hogs and ended up seeing another deer. <laughs> so, what do you do? Anyway, plan is to go out this evening towards dark and uh, any coons that come in or hogs Hopefully we can put a hurt down on them. So stay tuned. No, they have hemorrhagic fever, which is like Ebola. I don't know Isn't that where you have to poop? Ebola? Yeah. That's diarrhea, honey. <laughs> That's so you have to poop. No, you bleed out of every orifice in your body. All right, tricky spot. Take this real quick. You got into a spot over here. See where the meat's kind of trying to stick right there. Mm -hmm. So you gotta make sure you cut around that. And then what's gonna happen, you're gonna get to a point where you can start pulling this off, actually. And that's awesome when you can get to that point. Have you not gotten to monetize? Well, you're not making monetary gain off of I'm not dude. making any money. I'm making, I got 41 people last time I checked that even are subscribed to me. I don't think most of them watch my videos. They're just like, you know, 
I'm like, I feel sorry for this guy. I'm gonna watch his stuff. Mm. Oh, see what happened there? I went perpendicular and I cut the skin. Huh. Which isn't a big deal on this one, but if you really, like if you're skinning stuff for fur, you always want to uh, take not your time and do a good job and not do that. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> Go right up the brisket. <clears throat> I thought the brisket was the butt. This is the brisket. The butt is the butt. Or the rump. The hindquarters. Yes. And without getting it too much, maybe. I'm thinking. This is probably just going to bust through in a second. Hmm. Every deer that I kill falls immediately. I like chasing them. <laughs> Don't chase. You mean you like tracking them? Same freaking thing. <laughs> I don't know about that. Now I'm gonna try everything I can to do this the a gutless way. I won't be disappointed if guts go out. Well, I don't want them so close to the cabin. I'm we can get raccoons. Oh, You're not allowed to shoot vultures, are you? No, unfortunately. Because they're birds of prey. Yeah, they're birds of Good thing. cleaning up is what they are. They're scavengers. <laughs> they are scavengers. Called the flank steak. Mm -hmm. This area is called the paunch. So if you hit them in the paunch, they're gonna die, but it may take a long time. You basically just gotta walk away. Let them lay down somewhere and die, which is not a bad thing. But, you know, I'm gonna need I two green sticks here in a minute. You know what I mean by a green stick? No. Basically. Not dead. Yeah. Two sticks. We're gonna end this. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Not too bad for the morning after, Tater. Morning, Tater. <clears throat> so we're gonna have us some breakfast, and then we're gonna load everything up and skadoosh. Let me show you something real quick. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Not bad for a little deer. Filling up that little freezer a little bit. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Well, yes, since you asked, that is a half of a stick of butter. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning in the neighborhood. Not bad for our first hunting trip of the year together, huh, kid? Huh? Yeah. Not bad for our first hunting trip together of the year, huh? Yeah. We got the big one coming up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we're not going to have cozy accommodations like this. We're going to be sleeping in the in the cab of the truck with our sleeping bags. Yeah. 
Here we have the wild Mahala in her natural habitat. Eating her preferred food of potatoes and eggs. How is it, Mahala? The wild beast devours the meal before it. Oh, God, the humanity. Oh. Well, there you go, folks. What started out as a gun hunt for pig and raccoon quickly became a bow hunt for deer. So uh, that's pretty cool. We put some deer in the freezer in the new fridge in the cabin. We're going to take that home with us. And we had a pretty good weekend. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for some rest and relaxation and for Mahaley getting a bow deer. Which is nice. <laughs> Did you have a good time this weekend, Mahala? Was it relaxing? Do you want to go home? Okay. I suppose we can, man. The season is young. Stay tuned. Love y'all. Bye.